Hi, I'm Marie Shake from the World Bank. We are live to innovate for climate finance and market suite in Barcelona. For those following online, please use hashtag innovate for climate. I'm excited to have today Ali Barodi, uh, coordinator of the Biocarbon Fund and the Forest Carbon Partnership Facility. So for those who don't know, could you explain more about the Biocarbon Fund? Yes, of course, but first I'm really glad to be here and thank you for the opportunity to speak about this issue. Land use and climate are hugely important. Land use contributes to the current problems we have on climate. So a lot of the emissions we get from land use are contributing to the problems we have on climate change. So the interventions of the Biocarbon Fund become very important in this space. The Biocarbon Fund really looks at how interventions in land use can contribute to not just better climate, but how we can help people have better livelihoods, especially in rural areas. So the fund is working on a number of things. It works on reforestation. It works on how you can do more for sustainable agriculture. And importantly, it's looking at how we can reduce deforestation. So all these, as I said, are huge contributors to the climate problem that we have. Great. And so how are you guys working with countries and the private sector, engaging the private sector to accelerate climate action? So we have a number of countries in the fund and we have a huge emphasis on working with the private sector. So this fund really wants to achieve partnerships between the public sector and private sector because what we're trying to do is really achieve green growth interventions at scale and you can't do that without both public and private working hand in hand. So for example, we're working in a number of countries with the governments to define areas for interventions but where we can also look at policy interventions but from the side of the private sector what can direct actions on the ground be to actually make sure their interventions are sustainable, that we can have economic growth with a low carbon footprint. So those are the types of things the fund is trying to achieve. The fund will bring to the table two sources of finance. We have grant funding to help governments achieve what they need for what we call enabling environments. So what helps governance? What helps transparency? What helps different stakeholder participation? But we also bring funding to reward results. So whether it's public, private, or anybody else, you achieve a result, we hope we can reward that. So, and that result is measured in CO2, which is huge for the climate. And if your intervention in the land use space reduces the CO2, then there is a payment for that. So how does the you know, financial innovation impact your work? There is tons of space for more financial innovation. As I said, we bring very traditional pots of funding to the table right now, but you hear lots of opportunities for green finance. You hear about bonds, but you don't really see significant flows in this area. So there's clear barriers. A lot of entities that could be in this space are not in it because they just see it as high risk. What instruments can we use to de-risk? So these are all things we're looking at, but are yet to gel in this space. And I think there's a tremendous amount that can be done in financial innovation to make this happen. And I think we've got some of the building blocks there for that, but we are not quite there. So you guys uh, just launched a report. So um, how do you see commodities like chocolate you know, impact climate action? So we have just launched a report, it's on cocoa, um, and I have a huge bias in this because I love chocolate, and I have to say I love coffee, and we heard earlier all the speakers talking about coffee. Um, different commodities, have, I mean there's clear sustainability issues with a number of commodities, and many companies have made commitments to reduce their footprints and just be better corporate citizens and we're helping them to try to achieve that in a number of ways. So the COCO report for example starts to spell out how companies that are working in the COCO sector can work in developing countries where COCO is grown but how can they do that better? Is it with other trees so you have shade? Is it with better practices to increase productivity? What do the social dimensions of these interventions look like? All these factors are coming together with the private sector to really try to think through how we do this. There's great commitments on their side, but we're really trying to work with them on operationalizing it and making it come real. Great. So lastly, what do you think is next? You know, what more is needed now? Um, there is a lot more that's needed. We can all do more in this space. Clearly, when you hear about the issues related to climate, I mean, I think that's very recognizable. 
you can think of all spectrums where you can do more. So what we would like is to continue working with governments, for example, at one end of the spectrum. How can we have better policy implementation? How can we have better policy enforcement? And the transparency issues are totally important in this space, right? You have so many stakeholders coming together. Indigenous people, civil society need to be at the table as well to speak to these issues and what makes livelihoods you know, what makes a better livelihood in a specific area? So all these players are needed around the table. Right down to the consumer in also has an important role to play. So for example, if you're buying your chocolate and your coffee and it's coming from a source that has deforested, are you going to be comfortable with that as a consumer? So I mean, I think so every part of the spectrum, there is so much more that can be done, but we're also very willing to discuss with anybody who wants to join forces with us to achieve these goals, to really take part in it. And I think that's what the summit brings together, it brings together the financial sector, you know, public and private, so it brings together all parties because that's what's really needed now, I think, to move forward. So thank you for your time. We just spoke with Ali Brody, uh, coordinator of the biocarbon Fund and uh, the Forest Carbon Partnership Facility. We just talked about private engagement uh, towards climate action. We've talked about chocolates and how that's impacting climate action. So thank you so much for your time and stay tuned for more interviews on facebook.com slash connect for climate. Thank you.